Breast cancer survivor has a very unique story to tell. And for Michelle Hoagland, it started with somewhat of a surprise. She had no family history of breast cancer, no lumps. Then her diagnosis three years ago was thanks to a mammogram. Now she is an advocate and has created a Facebook group that's advocating for other women as well. Thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, let's start off by talking about the group and, and what it's offering to other people. Well, it was a group that I started originally as a private Facebook group to keep my friends and family updated on my progress, my surgeries, doctor's appointments. And I had two friends who were part of the group that decided to go get their mammograms mm -hmm. because of me and discovered that they had breast cancer as well. Yeah, and tell us a little bit about your story of who encouraged you to get a mammogram or what kind of convinced you to go do that? Well, it I was getting them pretty regularly mm -hmm. and life got in the way, things yeah. were happening and I just, I skipped a year or two and so my uh, primary care physician was like, what do I have to do, drive you? So she uh, encouraged me to go. I went and then it just fell in line from there Definitely. of finding the diagnosis. And what was the journey after that for you? I had a bilateral mastectomy three years ago next month, uh, six tumors in my wow. left breast, but I was very lucky that I did not have to do chemo or radiation. You know, it, it's incredible because I've heard that before where you hear of a friend who gets a mammogram and mm -hmm. kind of that network out, you know, so your group, what's the name of your group again? It's called the Boob Report. Very it was sort of cheek. a joke. <laughs> yes, very tongue in cheek. It was uh, sort of a joke when I first did it, but then I bought the domain name. And actually, what I'm doing with the group mm -hmm. is it's going to be a one stop shop resource for women in the Denver metro area. Okay. There's so much information out there, but it's so hard to find it. So sure. I'm going to have it all in one place, and they're going to be able to find out uh, where's the best bra in the Denver area yeah. to get after a mastectomy, sure. why physical therapy is so mm -hmm. important, all the support groups that are available available to you. I just want to make it, it's devastating to get that phone call mm -hmm. and it's, then you have to go search for things. So yeah. I want to make things as easy as I possibly can for women. That is incredible. And you never know if you're reading other people's stories, if you get encouraged yourself Absolutely. to go take care of yourself. Really mm -hmm. quickly, Sunday, you're going to be at the Cancer Walk. Is that right? Yes. We're going to brave the weather and be at the Cancer Walk. Okay, great. <laughs> and can people look up your Facebook group now? Yes. It's called the Boob Report. It's on Facebook and we will be launching the website on, in January, January, oh. 2020. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank we you. appreciate it. And good luck Thank in the you. snowstorm. <laughs> I appreciate it. All right, Brian, it. we'll send it back to you. Uh, thanks.